All right, in this video, we're going to go over uh, fixed end moments, um, how to calculate them, and discuss why they are used. Um, fixed end moments, um, basically, they're moments on the ends of structures that we assume to be fixed. So if we had, um, let's say, a beam here, right? And we wanted to calculate a fixed end moment here and here um, based on whatever type of loading um, goes on on that beam. We can use something like this chart. And this chart um, uh, is sometimes found, or actually should be found in your fundamentals of structural analysis textbooks. Or you can find you know, these um, online. Um, but what these are used for, um, you need, to cal you need to know how to calculate fixed end moments for uh, things such as the slope deflection method and the moment distribution method um, for analyzing indeterminate structures. So um, let's go over uh, the sign convention and how we can use some of these to actually calculate fixed end moments. Now, if we had a beam, let's say, I'll do it here. I'll, actually, I'll do it right here. Let's say we had a beam, and it was, I don't know, let's say 10 meters. Oh, boy. Uh, 10 meters, and we wanted to calculate the fixed end moments at the end of this beam. And let's say we had a, a, a point load applied directly here. Um, oops, not drawing. Directly here in the middle, and uh, I don't know, it was... Let's let's say a, a four, four kips, four kips. Actually, <laughs> why am I using kips when the length is in metric? Let's say it was in four kilonewtons. Ah, that makes everything better. So four kilonewtons applied directly at the middle. And we wanted to calculate the moments, the fixed end moments here at A and here at B, right? So it's 10 meters in length, there's four kilonewtons applied directly in the middle. The fixed end moment on the left side, well, if you look at this chart, it's uh, actually number one here. Number one, number one is not being circled. Okay, that's fine. It's uh, number one, oh, there it goes, okay. Um, let me just draw a nice circle around number one. The fixed. This chart says if we had a point load at the very middle of this beam and it was fixed at both ends, the point load or the fixed end moment at the left side, um, here you can see is PL over 8 and it's negative, right, the negative sign. So PL over 8, P being the load, L being the length. Uh, in our case, our P is 4 um, and, and the length would be 10 meters um, and then it'd be divided by... 8, right? So the fixed end moment, and it's negative, uh, the fixed end moment uh, here would be 4 times 10 over 8, or, or 4 over 8 is really 1 over 2, so 10 divided by 2, uh, this should be 5, negative 5 kilonewton meter, right? And on the right side of the beam, it's PL over 8, but, but it's positive this time. So uh, it's positive 4 times length 10 over um, 8. And that should be 5 kilonewton meters, right? 40 divided by um, 8 gives us 5. Uh, 40 kilonewton meters. So this is how you can calculate fixed end moments. And here it's saying um, the moment is negative. Um, in other words, it goes counterclockwise. And here it's positive going clockwise. So the sign convention used um, for these fixed end moments is clockwise is positive. So it goes this way, goes this way, and counterclockwise, counterclockwise is negative, uh, meaning it goes uh, the other way, right? Generally, for almost all fixed end moments, um, the left side is usually negative or counterclockwise, and the right side is usually positive or clockwise. Um, so let's actually do maybe one more. Let's say, let's say, let me scroll down a bit. Let's say we had a beam. Uh, again, it was 
fixed at both um, fixed at both ends right let's say the distance was oops I went too far undo, undo. Uh, the distance was oh why does he keep going man this does not want to listen to me today um, anyway uh, the distance let's say was I don't know like two feet right two feet and we had in this case we had a, a distributed load here here this is uh, just a regular distributed load of I don't know let's say the weight is equal to let's just do four kip per foot so the weight is equal to four kip per foot it's two feet we want to calculate the fixed end moments at A and B uh, using this chart we can look at number four and and number four says on the left side it's going to be negative w l squared over 12 and on the right side it's going to be positive w l squared over 12. Uh, w in our case is the 4. Ooh. Um, is the 4. Uh, the length is 2 um, and that's squared and that's over 12. So um, this be a uh, 4 over it well it'd be four thirds right because four over twelve is really one over three and then two squared is four so four four thirds but it's it's negative right uh, kip foot and on the right side the weight is um, four times l squared which is two squared over twelve again this is four times four over 12 or 16 over 12 um, uh, divide I guess the top and bottom um, by 4 you get 4 uh, 12 divided by 4 is 3 so on the on the right side of the fixed end moment going clockwise is 4 over 3 kip foot and on the left side it's negative 4 thirds well, actually, I, I drew the arrow negative, so I don't have to put this negative sign here. Kip foot. Okay, so you should know how to do this uh, before we get to slope deflection and moment distribution. Normally, you have a chart, or you can just look up uh, values off the internet, um, or look them up in your textbook. Um, and so this is how you calculate fixed end moments, and these are the uh, sign conventions used when calculating fixed end moments. All right.